excuse me. Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, so, yeah, um, right now, uh, I'm about to play Skyrim again. I just, uh, bought, I just, uh, went off of it to, um, see what, um, part I needed to name the other part. The other part, what is in fact part seven? And uh, this one here is going to be part 8, where we continue on with the uh, quest with the Greybeards. And, uh, yeah, um, I'm going to not be on for very much longer, because, you know, I do have to get up in the morning, like, at 7, so... So in about 2 hours, I'll be getting off, and, um, yeah, uh, let's do this. And, oh, wait, where did it go? Uh-oh. Oh well, I play anyway. Uh, I play anyway. <laughs> oh well. And yeah, uh, let's get into this. Here we go. Oh, yeah, like if you notice the kimonos are a little bit obstructed or whatever. I mean the hakama. The hakama part, so all I have to do is go to save. Then load. Then they should come back. Yep, there we go. See? Nothing too hard to do. Hmm. Let me guess. You want to talk? All right. Here we go. This is the right way that we need to go. <clears throat> I was thinking of changing Lydia, but I think I'll just leave her the way she is. So you know. You know, she can very much freely do kind of almost what she wants to do. You know what I mean? You know. Oi, that scared me. Alright, you guys go take her role. Good job. Good job, you guys. and make sure yeah you know this here I'm not gonna really raid that much or not really late I mean you know I'm not gonna really late that much because you know I just wanna I just wanna get through with this so you know I'm not even gonna go areas where I'm not supposed to or you know areas hmm huh. Huh. There we go. There they go. Off killing things. Oh, it's okay, you guys. Man, this thing here really helps out a lot because you know, I, then I, you know, I don't have to go into certain areas. Alright, like this here is going to be an area where I'm going to have Ichio and what's your name relaxing so you know they don't get in my way. Let me see. Alright. Got through it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. That was the first time that I've ever 
you know, not had to worry about it. Um, which we can let you know. Um, you know, screwing up on, you know, with my, you know, it, that was the first time that I ever was able to get it that successful. Where's he doing on them on that now? Let's keep going. I took them off of relaxing, so you know. He should be coming. Yep, here we go. And of course, oh. And of course, yes, this area here. Sorry, you guys, I am gonna have to turn you guys back on to relaxing. No, I just took you guys off. But it has to be this way. Honor to you. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Look, you, you see how they're setting off those things already? Yeah, and that's what I'm talking about. Where did that thing hold you? Fine, I'm taking you guys off of relaxing. You know, I'm gonna take you two off of relaxing because you know he can kick that thing's butt. I'm gonna have to go to Magic Can. Oh, great. Thanks a lot, you dang spider. Oh, there we go, that wasn't so bad. You know what, let's just go on ahead and have Lydia come off of that too. So you know, see if you can come up over here. Oh man, that's spider. Sophia, wherever it is. Okay, no wonder she lives. Let me guess. All right, let's go. Man, when I was that, I got spooked, and I thought there was something that was gonna come and get me through the area.
You mean to say we came all this way and risked our lives for nothing? The person who wrote. Yeah. I understand your pain, Sophia. No, we'd better start explaining fast. Yeah, I understand. I know your I feel your pain. When Red first came up in here and stuff and you know that happened, I was like what? I'm gonna take that stuff. Alright, let's go. Let's get on out of here. Thank god there's always a little exit. To where you know you don't have to oh, no, 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 go all the way back from the beginning. That would be horrible. Seriously, though. No. That would seriously be horrible. And yep, this is the first time that I've activated a lever like this. Just as long as I can find my way back, I'm usually pretty good. I guess what, we don't even have to go on up that one way, I don't think. Yep. Alright, let's go. <laughs> and those monsters went like, flying all over the place. Alright. Let's... Wait. What do I have to do now again? There's an internal room. Haven't been there yet. Oh, they're in Riverwood. How lovely is that? Well, let's go. You know what, I'm actually gonna make this stuff into leather right quick. Hmm. Can't really make any of this stuff yet. But well, once I am able to make stuff, I'll make this Kimono Hojo thing. I literally need blue mountain flowers. May the gods watch over your battle, friend. No, wait, where is this? Alright, here we go.
I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room. But you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. Oh, well, thank you, Ichigo. That was very nice of you to open the door for me. Are you feeling sick? You know, I'm gonna sleep for an hour. You know, just cuz. That was pretty weird. So you're the dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. Hold at that for... Hold up that for eight hours. I could try to slip in like a day or so. <laughs> oh man, I don't think I'd be able to stay up and fight like the way my character does. Close the door. Give me a mug of ale. Coming right up. Sorry, now Sophia. And she just closes the door anyway. You've had more than enough. Besides, you still haven't paid for the last one. I'll find you. You know what? I want Lydia to be in here. No, I'll just have both of them come in here. So yeah, you know they can stop relaxing and stuff. Come up in here. The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. I guess I'm getting pretty good at my harmless innkeeper act. Good. The whole point of being in hiding is to appear to be someone you're not. It was the only way I could make sure it wasn't a Thalmor trap. I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I just need you to hear me out. And he said I wasn't really to listen. Like I said in my note, I've heard that you might be Dragonborn. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you, for a very long time. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. I knew the Greybeards would send you there if they thought you were Dragonborn. They're nothing if not predictable. When you showed up here, I knew you were the one the Greybeard sent, and not some Thalmor plant. Yes, we're very old enemies. And if my suspicions are correct, they might have something to do with the dragons returning. But that isn't important right now. What is important is that you might be Dragonborn. They are very um, 
suspicious people though. Because you know, like you seen in uh, past Let's Play episodes, they were messing around in the College of Winterhold and doing all that crazy stuff, activating the thingy. We stuff, remember so, that yeah. don't. That the Dragonborn is the ultimate dragon slayer. You're the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? Good, and you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. I know they are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty. And I figured out where the next one will come back to life. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. You should know. You got the map for me. The dragon stone you got for Faringar, remember? So you were paying attention. I arranged to have Farangar recover the dragon stone for me. It's what I do. I make things happen from behind the scenes. After all, here you are. She is very clever. Yes, a map of ancient dragon burial sites. I've looked at which ones are now empty. The pattern is pretty clear. It seems to be spreading from the southeast, starting in the Geralds near Riften. The one near Kynesgrove is next, if the pattern holds. Kynesgrove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. I need to get into my traveling gear. Give me a minute and I'll be ready. What That's do you need? My thing. Let's get on the road to Kynesgrove. Are you feeling sick? Ognar, I'm traveling. Got the inn till I get back. Right. Happy trails. I'm just gonna put her into my character's man. You know, I'll just leave her for the uh, most normal, important NPCs and their clothes, and I'll put like guards and followers in. We don't have to take orders from that old skeever. As far as I'm concerned, you're Dragonborn. I'm extremely beautiful and tough. And she should be taking orders from us. Do you need something? The faction that rules the Aldmeri Dominion. 
the ones who almost destroyed the Empire during the Great War 30 years back. There's no worse enemy to your kind in common. The Empire barely survived the last Camera war. Down. The Thalmor don't intend to lose the next one. We hurt them in the past, and they have long memories. Interesting. The Dragonstone was a map of ancient dragon burial sites. I've looked at which ones are now empty. The pattern is pretty clear. It seems to be spreading from the southeast, down in the Geralds near Riften. The one at Kynesgrove is next, if the pattern holds. Interesting. Come on, we've got to get to Kynesgrove. My analysis is correct. The dragon buried near Kynes Group. Dragons are coming back, and you're a born dragon slayer. That's all you need to know right now. Kynes Grove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. Let's get going. Here we go. There we go. Oh, she's working. Yep, there we go. before we even get there. Yeah, and plus, if I get killed, um, the game can't progress forward. See that, Delfina? Did you see what I just did? I think he must have been eating soup for quite a while after that. And I bet it wasn't a woman serving it. I can always use the crack. And I can always use more leather. 
if they didn't have ski for tails. Eh, right there's a really big bone. So wait, if, um, if the dragonborn people way centuries back had killed, I mean, um, had, um, you know, what you call it, um, Must there always be incest inside temples? It really does make me feel a little sick. This is a notorious bandit hideout, but it's also the shortest way to find The smell really so gets up my nose. Kill a few and that's if I didn't clear already. I guess I didn't. I guess we didn't. Better to stick together. I don't want you to get yourself killed before we even get there. Much further is it to Kynes Grove? Why is it so far away? You better keep moving. Cross the White River and follow it to Windhelm, then we can swing south to Kynes Grove. Awesome. Wait, to where? Windhelm? Did you say Windhelm? Because if you did, I could have easily fast traveled there.
Delta Calmer are aware of your death, so we should be safe with them. You and I make a great couple. Oh, I mean like a team, not like... Forget it. Better to stick together. I don't want you to get yourself killed before we even get there. There's an inn at Kynes Grove, a Gravewood. I hear they serve a nice dark ale. Nothing on the sea of giant. There she is. It's a good thing she wakes up for me. Should have picked somebody else for your death. You'll have to do better than that. you were willing to trust me. I know it probably wasn't the best way to introduce myself, but old habits, you know. She has a Forty of them. No, it's gonna get ten. It's gonna. Greeting, sister. You look weird. Something to help you relax if you're interested. The finest skooma, the sweetest moon sugar, at a fair price, of course. Ah, can't have you running any guards now, can I? Never still come here! Thanks. 
Thanks for taking care of that dude. Oh wow, man, she's walking. Oh, don't. Don't. Come on, man, let me talk to you. Are you saying you don't trust me? Fair point, actually. I wouldn't trust me. No, it's not that I don't trust you. It's just that I don't have a lot of room for all of this stuff. Wait, is this mine? Oh. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm gonna put this back on. Hang around then. Just for the heck of it. Alright, there we go. I'll just get whatever I need from her. Oh wait, that's right. I was gonna put her into. We may both end up dead, but at least it gets me out of Riverwood. Now, time to really think I'm cut out for the quiet line. There we go. <laughs> now she's locked into that outfit. Not too much farther now. Kind Grove is just down the road to the southeast. And I'm gonna give my fine stuff to Winterface. Oops. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give all my this fine stuff to Lydia. Not much to look at. The innkeeper ought to be able to tell us if there's any dragon mount nearby.
Wait. Something's no, wrong. You don't want to go up there. A dragon. It's attacking. It flew over the town and landed on the old dragon burial mound. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. Come on, hurry. We might be too late. She looks really cool. Come on. We need to find out what's happening up there. Come on. We need to find out what's happening up there. All right, well, let's go. Come on. We need to find out what's happening up there. All right, dude, I'm right behind you. Come on. We need to find out what's happening up there. Maybe. Stay Look at his eyes. Look at that big monster. See what it does. I'm gonna wear this kimono too. Well, oh, I can only wear the armored version. Salukunir, Zil Kuro Dova Ursa. Steady. Maybe there's some sort of armor that didn't put on it. Zoom. Coral need no dove to hide. You do not even know our tongue, do you? 
to check that out. You know, I'm gonna put Ichigo in the Kimono too, since he needs to listen to, you know, an essential fighter and stuff, and plus, you know, I'm gonna remove his. There we go, that looks pretty cool. Oh man, his Zenpak Tower would have been. Awesome, cool. I'm gonna do just a did magicka. I'm gonna do stamina. Next one will be illusion. I owe you some answers, don't I? Go ahead. Whatever you want to know. Nothing held back. I'm one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were Dragon Slayers. And we served the Dragonborn, the greatest Dragon Slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. Really? Where? Interesting. Same dragon. Damn it. We're blundering around in the dark here. We need to figure out who's behind it all.
Exactly. Nobody even remembers our name these days. We used to be known across Tamriel as the protectors of the Septim Emperors. Those days are long gone. For the last 200 years, we've been searching for the next Dragonborn to guide and guard, as we are sworn to do. But we never found one, until now. The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. Nothing solid, yet. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. Problem is, that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. Hmm, I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. I'm right behind you. Weird, you should just, uh... Still here. Lead on. Weird, I thought I locked his, uh, gear. I'm gonna come check out Kaim's Grove. Right quick. Okay, she goes closes this definitely. Hmm. Okay, alright, I'm not gonna try and change him, because you know. Those pride would end. Oh, you know what? What's your name is kind of essential, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and change her outfit. They don't look so good. Are you feeling all? Poor Rogi. If you're feeling charitable, buy the Norda Mead. He's good for it. Didn't talk of a little boy in Windhelm. Name of Aventus Aretino. Get this. He's been trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. 
Foolish lad. Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. People say there's someone in Riften that can change your face. Make you look completely different. Do you believe that? He's been in Kynesgrove forever. Great storyteller. Keeps everyone's spirits up. Owes me a lot of coin for drinks. I keep telling him not to worry about it, but he's got the stubborn Nord blood. Damn fool doesn't have the coin to pay me back, so he just beats himself up over it, and then he gets thirsty, and it cycles all over again. If you could convince him that I don't care about his tab, it'd certainly make me feel better. Magic is nothing but trouble. If you're set on it, there's that college in Winterhold, or Ulfric's court wizard. But don't say I didn't warn you. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. All right, then. I'm gonna go and check this out. Let's go ahead and take a little break from that for now. Alright, let's go out here, go to Rifton. Hey, what's this? Oh, uh, yeah, gonna have to. Okay, right there's works dead. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's right, Rift. I don't think I've been there yet. I must go here and get there via the horse carriage. Wait, huh? Wait, she was not wearing it? Wait. Well, he's not wearing it, so... Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Alright, here we go. He goes Rift it. No, we're not going to. But you've never been to Rift it. So be sure to visit the Black Friar meeting. You mug the dad, and you'll forget all... I think each girl looks really cool. Alright. Now, oh. uh, if you hear a guy, he does Riften. Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? down. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. The gate's unlocked. You can head inside when you're ready. Have you heard? There's been another dragon attack. Time. Oh yeah, it didn't a little bit, uh, sketchy. I forgot about that. Oh well. I have another run in with a thief skill. Be careful, Mjord. The Thieves' Guild has Maven Blackbriar at her back. 
one snap of her fingers and you could end up in Riften jail. Or worse. They represent the reason I'm here. I can't just ignore them, Eren. <clears throat> I know. I just don't want you to leave. You're the only good thing that's happened to this city in a long time. I'm really getting tired of your excuses. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and for double the usual fee. I know I did, but how was I to know the shipment would get robbed? Next time, keep your plans quiet and nothing would have happened to it. What? Are you telling me you? What's the money, man? Put him in a kimono. He'll be a part of my crew. Why? Why? Miss to me. Look, Shad, the last warning. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Everything else? What do you want? Yes. Hofgreer took me in when I arrived in Riften about a year ago. He's been teaching me everything he knows. Horses are my whole life. Back in Hammerfell, I helped my family raise horses at our farm. I hope to open my own stables one day. But I think it's going to take a lot longer than I expected. I owe a great deal of money to someone, and I think they cheated me. I don't know what to do. I was able to work out a deal with the stables in Whiterun to sell me some of their tack and harnesses. I borrowed some gold from Sapphire to pay for the shipment, but it got robbed before it even arrived. Now Sapphire wants her money back, and if I don't pay her, I think she's going to kill me. You will? Oh, thank you. Be careful with Sapphire. She mixes with all sorts of nasty people. Divine smile on you, friend. Honor to you, my king. What do you need, my king? What do you need? They go pretty far. Vegetable. Never Look done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry. Hey, lass. I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. I can tell. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lass. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under his stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. Sorry, I usually have a nose for this kind of thing. 
Never mind at last. If you change your mind, come find me. Tell me what really happens when a dragonborn comes. Are you feeling sick? Yes. Visiting Riften? All are welcome at the Temple of Mara. Okay, I'm wondering where would this face sculptor person Take my be? My advice. Riften's under my protection. You watch yourself now. All right then. Purchase a bottle of my genuine farmer blood elixir. All Only twenty symptoms each. Where the heck is this? Okay, it must be. Oh, it's up there. Eh. Oh, okay. He's not here. Wait, let me make sure he's down here. Let me make sure I'm not the walls. You need my followers, so to go, I'm taking me off of relaxing and taking Lily off of relaxing. There we go. Now they're going to go get their butts. Well, thanks. Thanks, you guys. Let's go ahead and Today. I just can't resist someone wearing tight fitting armor. Uh, let's talk to Lydia. I'm right behind you. All right, what is it? What do you need? Oh, it's very simple. Can't do that. Sorry. Ah, seriously. I've got your back.
you motherfucker! Sorry about them, like, you know, if I could, I'd have my followers locked at the door so, you know, I don't have to because this guy is stuck behind this door. What am I supposed to freaking do? Cause that there was the oldest freaking door and now well no, I can't get out of here if I just have uh something else to you know well not something else but what was that? Lead on. I've never freaking set foot in this dang place. You know what's going on? Turn the dang thing. To what his face is here, said be able to beat me up. Did you want something? Now how the hell am I gonna get there? Oh right, here goes this thing. That's right, I can just teleport. Alright, so yeah, let's go back to high hot high hot. Yeah, let's go back to high hot hot girl. Whatever, it's freaking cold. And yeah, let's go talk to him. Oh well, you know, go return the cloth. I mean no not the cloth but the thing. And then we'll be out of here. Possibly. Ah, your 
retrieved the horn of Jorgen Wink. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Awesome. I guess I'm gonna have to get my lock picking skills up a whole lot before you know before I can um go and do what you call it. You know, I'm actually gonna dress him up. Actually, he's gonna be part of my legion. Look at this book. Um, hopefully it did it. Hey, did I take the book from? Oh, I don't know if it. Stand the unbridled voice of the graveyard. of the graybeards passed through unscathed. High Hrothgar is real. Let's see where they go. Was this supposed to follow? What's his face? Are you feeling sick? I should be able to find what's his face though.
Let's see. Okay, she's a really good one. But right, you know what? Uh, I'll be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom. So, uh, I'll be right back. You know what? I'll just go ahead. Let's see what happens. Okay, right, I'll be back. I wonder why the Dunmer are called Dark Elves. It makes them sound really evil. My cousin's out fighting dragons, and what do I get? Guard duty. The Graveyards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Rothgar. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. Why did the Riverwood Chicken cross the road? So, if it accidentally got hit, the carriage driver would get a five gold bounty, and the town would form an angry mob, chase down the carriage driver, and proceed to killing him anyway? Seriously, though, the people of Skyrim are a bit touchy about their livestock.
What do you need? Out with it. Sorry about that. Well, at least you guys get to see, you know, see what kind of happened whenever, you know, long period of time goes by. Alright. Oh, you know what? Let's go. Let's go here, actually. Why didn't I? Oh, that is cool. Alright, let's go here to the sleeping giant inn. And. I don't think you were followed. Come on, I have a plan. Well, I'm followed by my followers. Hmm. Hey, Jay. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. That would be a bad idea. I'd be too likely to attract the wrong kind of attention. But they don't know you at all yet. The Thalmor ambassador, Helenwyn, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Ellen Wen's secret files. Oh, yeah, I remember this I have a contact mission. inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wen's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Melbourne. Any questions? Don't worry about Melbourne. He's not a dangerous character like you. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the ambassador's parties. That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. Let me handle that. You'll have a real invitation, don't worry. As long as you can act the part of a Thalmor toady, you'll get past the guards. Sounds good. Be careful. What? Something you're still confused about? 
This is either going to be the best or worst idea ever. Still, I wouldn't mind getting back at those Thelmor for what they have done to our kingdom. And I do love to dress up and make a lasting impression. What? Something you're still confused about? Nope. I'm not confused about anything. I do know that Lydia needs to get out of my what? way. Something you're still confused about? What? Something you're still confused about? It's just that we need to get Lydia down here. What? That seems to be Something you're still popular, confused about? Don't you think? It's all people ever seem to eat. Finally. What? Something you're still confused about? You know, I'm just gonna have you guys go and relax here. Are you feeling sick? For now. Alright, so Solitude. We're heading out to Solitude this time. Alright. Sure, why not? Let's go to Solitude. I'm wondering if my followers would come with me. Oh, nope. They're not even over here. Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. First time to Solitude? Beautiful old city. Capital yeah. Skyrim, but I'm sure you're... Yep, this is my first time off to Solitude. If you've come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Ricker. If not, just keep your nose clean while you're here. You'll end up like... You know what? I'll also join the Imperial Legion as well. Why not? I 
Taking these. Taking these. You're looking a little rough around the edges. You feeling all right? They can't hurt Uncle Rogbeer. Tell them he didn't do it. Position. Far you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Get on with it! Traitor! You should tell her that... Oh man, they're gonna be coming all the way from, uh, Riverwood. Uncle is scum. To see where they come from. Best she know now, I thought. Mm -hmm. Oh, huh. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening I that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people they who saw it. thought Bards were supposed to have a sense of honor. The they just said they were reading no books. Murder. Ulfric no, challenge I story. Can't believe what Defeat the, the High made King in fair combat. Oh, no, it's Such is our like way. That. Such is the ancient he custom of Skyrim. And some dusty old Lords. relic from some forbidden cave. Oh. I just handed him an old book, and they spent ages trying to decipher the nonsense that I wrote in it. <laughs> On this day, I go to Sovngarde. Some gate guard you were. I'm gonna let my people relax up here. Good riddance to bad rubbish, I see. See where they go. Feel free to make requests. He died well. I think I expected more. Now let's go and... I'm gonna go and join the Imperial Legion before going in... there. My cousin's out fighting dragons and what do I get? I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts reports. <laughs> oh, okay. Join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause, it's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take Whiterun. Yarlbolt. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison in his city. On the other hand, he also <laughs> refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your... Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? 
Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Have we? Oh, oh, of course. You were at Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Hadvar's alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good soldier. But he hasn't reported in yet, so he can't exactly confirm your story. In the meantime, why don't you have a chat with Legged Ricka? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for White Run, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. You survived Helgen? General Tullius told me what happened. Not many made it out alive. I've got a good feeling about you, and I don't often get good feelings about anything. A warrior knows to trust her gut. I'm not going to go through the normal process with you. I've got a little test lined up. Pass that, and we'll talk about you joining the Legion. The kind that evaluates your usefulness during... duress. I'm sending you to clear out Fort Haragstad. If you survive, you'll pass. If you die, then I'll have no further use for your corpse. The Ancients built many of the fortresses that dot the landscape of Skyrim. Sadly, most have fallen into disrepair, and nearly all have been overrun with bandits or other vagabonds. Fort Haragstad is one of the few that remains mostly intact. We're going to install a garrison there, but first, you're going to clean out the bandits that have moved in. Good, that's what I want to hear. Now go make it happen, soldier. Now, move it! Ulfric will want to take Whiterun from us, but we will hold fast. We can't give the Rebellion free reign through the center of Skyrim.
Alright, make sure that we've got that taken care of. Let's go. Let's go off to that other place that we were supposed to go to. Hopefully I can find it. Ooh, what's this place? Blue Palace. Off the coast away to the east, you'll find the wreck of the Brine Hammer. Never know what treasures may still be aboard. Skiva's got warm beds and cold meat. You look like you could use both. I'm not interested, Jari. It doesn't matter how many times you ask. You know you can afford a second. You might want to rethink that. You're missing out on some wonderful opportunities working with that bar. Here we go. Oh, but it's like, um, it's October. I don't know when it is October. I think the month of Skyrim are exactly the same as. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let my two followers relax again since we're in a place we'll be. We'll probably most likely be talking with this guy for a little while. So I'm gonna let them talk, hmm? let them relax. What do you need? Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you, but Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all the You're asking us. me? And when she promised that she was sending someone who knew what they were doing. If you actually want to get out alive, I'd bring whatever you need to move quietly but and kill quickly. Is ours, and we'll see it white clean of the scourge that has okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry.
On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. Did he just say getting fingered as a spy, or was it by a spy? That doesn't sound so bad. Oh, he didn't mean it like that? <laughs> That's a pity. <laughs> Here we go, going up to Solitude, then we're gonna go on out here. You know what, I'm gonna see if I can't get through with this mission first. are right down here. No way, where Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part, and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy and dress like that. that we'll have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information you need. Good luck. Does drinking milk make me... I wonder if Sophia will be following me. Ah, uh, hello, lady. My little soiree. And arriving by carriage, no less. I salute you, my good lady. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this godsforsaken mountain than any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party. There's not enough drinking in the day, wouldn't you agree? Welcome to the Thalmor Embassy. Your invitation, please. I will just... Rest. Your invitation, please. Thank you, ma'am. Go right in.
Yes, yes. Find my I'm all ears. Well, not literally, of course. Which song? Oh, I'd love to sing for you. The sun has set, the dark appeared, another cave that wasn't clear. The torch was lit, weapon cheated, but you didn't know when it was needed. Walked right in in a steady pace. It was one of those other days when the cave was her home. The cave was her home. <laughs> to keep her warm, the booze was near. Make place for joy instead of fear. Another night to overcome. In the cave, there was her home. The cave was. Alright, let's go ahead and see. let's see if they follow. So far all of my followers have come in. Welcome. Yep. I don't believe we've met. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Please, tell me more about yourself. What brings you to this... <laughs> to Skyrim? I heard those what is it now, on? It's just that we've run out of out the Alto wine. wine. They seem Do to think I have the hospitality of the Thalmor Embassy is at your service? Yes, My apologies. So we'll have to get better acquainted trap. later. Please, enjoy yourself. What can I get for you? So, you made what it do in. I have to yes? do to what get do you a need? drink around here? Soldiers are here you go, ma'am. The finest Galobian brand. The Is there anything else I can get for you? I just said it better myself. Then sometimes of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. No matter how hard the crops that grow there never falter. Even with every what other bottle. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink of Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon. Wonderful. I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. Just what you mean. Interesting Is that all? <laughs> My friend, you've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Stand back and behold my handiwork. Some say the ship suffered damage to her hull when she struck an iceberg, and Captain Sophia couldn't afford the repair. Attention, everyone! Of course, Could she was I never had admit such a thing. Captain I Sophia have an was far too proud a woman for that. Let's go. Let's go. Before anyone notices us. Ellen Wynn, our mistress. I speak figuratively. Ah, nothing could be more unlikely than that someone would actually want her in their bed. Although, most of you are already in bed with her. But again, I speak figuratively, of course. Fine, fine! Get your hands off me! I'll be a good boy now. Wouldn't want to offend our thou overboard, would we? Someone bring me a drink, please. So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. The gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking. Got it? Follow me. Who comes, Malvern? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. 
Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Zavani? I didn't realize that if eating there is one thing I don't like, it is people Perhaps who think they are the really ambassador. tough and special and ghost all nothing. the time. Your gear is in that also, chest. Also, don't you just hate those people you. who talk don't about pointless stuff that they really should keep to themselves? I need to lock the door themselves. behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. What? Did you see those robes? You're on your own this morning. Who are they with? More of the emissaries treaty enforcers. Yes, I'm listening. Okay, but next time you can carry my stuff. then oops I dropped something <laughs> just kidding I'm glad that's sorted. That's funny. Listen to he goes after him since my little friend here can't get him. Aww. Oh. What happened? Still here. 
What happened? Why the heck is he saying what happened? But I need that money. I earned it. I have my own expenses, you know. Silence. Do not put you. I would admire your courage if I wasn't laughing at your stupidity. I told you. I don't know anything else about it. What? Who? What? What do you want? Then? <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Come on, this way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead somewhere. They grabbed me in Riften. They seem to think I know something. They just kept asking me the same damn questions. I damn well hope so. If it helps you twist them up, I'm glad to help. They're after some old guy named Esburn. Something to do with dragons. I gathered it from listening to them talk when they thought I was out. I've seen a guy in Riften who they seem to think is him. Not much to go on. I don't even know where he lives, or his name. 
but they seem pretty excited about it. That's it. Now, let's get out of here. <sighs> Whatever you want. But let's go, now. Listen up, spy. You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. Surrender immediately, or you both die. Never mind. Silence. I'm dead Silence. already. Move. Slowly. I saw guards dragging bodies over here. Might be a way out. <sighs> Whatever you want. But let's go, now. About how much gold you have. It's about how much of it you spend. I saw on guards me. dragging bodies over here. Might be a way out. A <sighs> Whatever you want. Okay, but let's go now. No bloody hell. Okay, let's see why it lights back. It's a good thing I saved it. Let's get going. I'm right behind. 
I told you. I don't know anything else about it. What? Who? Yeah. Come on. This way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. Mostly. They grabbed me in Riften. They... I damn well hope... They're after some... I've seen a guy in Riften who... Not much to go on. That's it. Now, let's get out of here. Whatever you want. But let's go. Now. Listen up, spy. You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. Surrender immediately, or you both die. Never mind. Silence. Okay. Okay. Right behind you. I've got your back. I'm right behind you. Still here. I wonder what happened with that person, that dude. I hope he's okay. Guess he didn't make it. Alright, now I'm gonna have to go and talk to Delphine. Where's she on it? You didn't have to help me, so thanks. You didn't have to help me, so thanks. Alright, Delphine is probably back over in uh, Riverwood. So we'll go here, I'll talk to her, and then that will be that. By this time I kind of know exactly where Lydia is at. It took me a while to kind of figure out where she was at in the in the other previous uh well uh well, you know, just playing. Skyrim on its own, you know, I kind of sometimes kind of forgot about where she is. 
she was. You look worse than I feel. Made it out alive, at least. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Did you learn anything useful? Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that? Esbern? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. Crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esbern was one of the blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. He's well-connected. A good starting point, at least. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. Oh, you talk and you lie and you drink all our meat. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. Divine smile on you. Came clashing and slashing of steel as the brave lass Matilda charged in full of zeal. <laughs> and the bragger came. Well, when she was up here dancing. I've got your back. Lead on. I guess we better go to Rifton and find this Esbern then. We can yeah, go that... and ask Grignol, but I don't trust anyone who is a member of the Thieves Guild. We may be better off asking that Agonian woman at the B and Bar, as she seems to have all the gossip. But it's up to you. Come on. Are you feeling sick? I'm wondering if I still have that one room.
Let's get out of here. Feel. I think you might be sick. All right, well, all right, well, um, I guess I'll see you guys later and. I will probably record the day after tomorrow or something. Alright, I guess I'll see you guys later and uh, thanks for watching and um, good night and sweet dreams to everyone. Bye.